My first cat too was on my 18th birthday. Then came Patches. And then came a lot more. <laughs> like a lot of teenagers, I suffered from depression. And the best part about being a teenager uh, was Patches because she was always there. I would walk in the house after like doing whatever I was, some bad shit, if I was doing drugs or if I was out late or if I was partying or whatever. And she would just give me the same look every time like, oh hey, I'm so glad you're home. Let's, let's hang out and cuddle. And it was like consistent across the board always would happen. And that was really awesome because I needed that. And I had her for, for about 14 years and I just knew I had to memorialize her with a tattoo. So, um, She's now on my arm and with me forever. Hello. In the tattoo industry, cat art, feline art is, is really popular right now. And more popular than I've ever noticed. I always knew from ever since I started seeing tattoos that people love to memorialize their pets. And I, I have them myself, so I don't know, it was natural to do them. Okay. Do you want to take a stretch for a minute? Yeah. The cat tooth thing really started after I did the cat kitty in a teacup on my husband's leg. I started to paint cats and then I got commissioned to do some cat art and then I got requests to do another cat too and and then it's just these things happen you know they 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 spiral once you do something that somebody thinks is great they get it and then they they tell their friends and the friend gets it and then another friend gets it and and pretty soon you have a whole portfolio full of cat twos. Took, a, took about a, a year of doing tattoos sporadically to now do them weekly. Yeah. I hope it never ends. <laughs> I, I found you online. Like I. Awesome. What what platform? I don't I don't even remember. I was just, yeah I was just like looking around. And I, I saw the. Google tattoos. You might. I think I, yeah find I think you might have coined that term. <laughs> People are constantly asking me for them and I am never tired of doing them. I will forever be grateful for anybody who lets me tattoo their pet on them because I know how much it means and, and I, I really like to be able to share that with them because they usually tell me their story of how awesome their cat is or how awesome their cat was and I then can do the same about Patches and my cats now. I think he's beautiful. I think it turned out amazing. Like, can you see it from the angle? Yeah, well, I can partially see it. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm partially this, interpreting. This, right. Yes, the top, the top third. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just picture that the whole way. Through. Exactly. I'm, I'm extrapolating, but I'm going to assume that the whole thing looks great. A lot of them are really special, and a lot of them, some of them are just super fun, and the person gets a cat tattoo because they they just want something that feels good. That's what I love about tattooing. You don't have to get a tattoo that's so super meaningful and it's like so serious. Sometimes it just makes you feel good when you look at it. When I'm not tattooing, I'm drawing and I'm painting and I'm focusing on, on learning new techniques and, and how to improve. A lot of times there's deadlines because you're, you're commissioned for things, you're commissioned for paintings or you're commissioned to do a tattoo so you have to draw the design for the tattoo and that can be stressful. So the best the best part about having the cats around is, uh, you know, if I'm just freaking out, like, and, and, and I'm, I'm over here painting and dummy over there in the corner sleeping, I just, I don't even need to touch him. I can just look at him for a minute and take a breath and go, oh. <laughs> What? People are very surprised when they hear I only have two cats. <laughs> Because they hear me talking about cats and they see my art and they're like, she must have like 14 cats. And no, I mean, I have two. I think two is a great number. Hey, P. And I think that's what's changed. The typical cat lady from what it was used to be, 
one one woman alone with like 20 cats and now it's like no it's it's anybody you're in a relationship or you're single or you have a roommate and you have a cat a cat or two cats maybe you know it's not like this big thing oh life's tough <laughs> oh to be a cat for a day just a day i love it Nine years old. <laughs> that works for me. Yeah. Oh, it's so perfect. Oh.